Hi, I'm Shane with Thunder Beast Arms. We get a few questions on how we thread our suppressor, so that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. What we use when we're threading is a plug gauge. Um, you can see this one's a 5 8 by 24. The pitch diameters for the go side and the no-go side are on the gauge. So this is the go end. It's a little bit longer. This end is supposed to screw into the suppressor. This is the no-go end, so this one's just a little bit bigger than this end, and it shouldn't screw into the can. Ideally, what we're looking for is up to two turns of the no-go to go inside the can. If it goes more than that, it'll make the can loose, which will effectively make it a class two thread. So when the machinist is down on the machine, um, threading the suppressor, he'll continue to check it with the go gauge until he can get the go gauge to go all the way in. And he'll check it for a little bit of play. You don't want it too tight. So after he's satisfied with how the go end fits, He'll turn the gauge around and he'll check it with a no-go side. So I'll turn that in until it stops hard. Then we'll pick a reference point. We'll use this number right here as our reference point. And we'll back the gauge out and we'll count the revolutions. Alright, so there's one turn. About a turn and a half, just slightly under a turn and a half. So this tells the operator it's good and he'll move on to the next suppressor. The next thing, this can will go back to paint, uh, paint and finish. So after it gets painted, checked, and before it gets put in the box, the person boxing this thing up will check it one more time to make sure you got a good fit for your rifle. Um, and that's how we thread them.